Hello, my loves, and welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. If we're meeting for the first time, welcome. My name is Jessica Alexandria. Today, we are going to be talking about the week ahead from the lens of astrology and our intuition. Now, this is one of those weeks that's going to be very, very interesting, and I feel like a broken record because I say that every single time. I'm going to get this uh, chart set up for you, and I'm going to tell you why this week in particular is going to be so interesting. The first things first, that one of the things that's standing out to me is the energy of paying very, very close attention to details, especially when it comes to communication. It was almost giving like Mercury retrograde vibes. However, not that there's the element of miscommunication, but it's absolutely important that you ask for what it is that you want and need. And that if you are faulting, like if you are struggling with speaking up for yourself or if there are things that um, you may have put off again and again and again, the, this is the week to prioritize asking for even the smallest details. Also, we want to focus and pay attention to our mental, our energy, paying attention to what it is that we're consuming. It's going to make a huge difference. And this is going to be the week that if there's anything that is not for our highest and greatest good, we are going to find that the universe is going to separate us and split us from those things that do not serve us. So I have my tea cup here on the left with a little cookie there that I was nibbling on. I'm sipping on peppermint tea. I'll link it down below, a specific peppermint tea. It's Moroccan mint. It's so good. And um, let's go ahead, get cozy, and let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, so hopefully you have your cup of tea, your glass of water, your coffee, whatever it is that you're sipping on. Hopefully you're cozy, you're comfortable, and you have about 20 minutes time to clock in with the energies that are happening collectively in the cosmic energies, paying attention to how their movements impact us down here on Earth. Now, we're gonna start off with a bang this week with the moon, for the most part, transiting through the sign of Leo, but also the sun. We wanna look at the sun. Why? Because the sun represents collective ego consciousness. It's where all of our energies tend to embody, like what's gonna be most important to us, where the energies that we're gonna be focused on. Now the sun is still transiting through the sign of Taurus. Taurus loves, craves stability. Keep an eye on Taurus for the majority of this year and also look at how Taurus energy has been impacting your life already this year. Why? Because Uranus, the planet of unexpected developments, that um, brings surprises and things that we can't control and changes, major changes that are hopefully, usually for our highest and greatest good for the future, is throwing a lot of wrenches and plans and disable, I don't say disabling, but maybe um, uprooting a lot of the ways of the world that it is that we know it as, as it's transiting through Taurus. The sun now transiting through Taurus is feeling that energy even more uh, concentrated because why? That's where our energy is being drawn to focus on. So look to see what Taurus rules within your natal chart, within your personal chart. That's where you're going to need to give a lot more space and grace and flexibility to these changes that are happening within your life, especially when it comes to things that you thought were a sure thing, that they were going to last forever. When Uranus transits, through that sign or anything that Uranus touches, it creates a spark, it creates an electric shock, and it changes it in a way that is, a lot of us can't really predict, we predict we can't really see it, but we have to trust it's for our highest and greatest good. We feel uncomfortable usually when we're fighting, we're fighting the wisdom of the universe, we're, we're fighting the intelligence of the universe. Um, and the, the intelligence and the blessing and the protection of these planets. Now, at the start of this week on Monday, the sun is going to be directly conjunct Uranus. This is going to be a highly explosive energy, especially in the realms of activating rebellion, activating exciting and unpredictable changes. And for some of you guys, you're going to need a lot more independence. You're going to need to separate yourself 
um, from certain energies or certain perspectives that you had rested on that you were, again, you thought that it was like a sure thing. This is going to bring a lot of attention and a lot of clarity, especially in areas that you may have find yourself having trouble accepting. Definitely areas that you may found yourself having trouble accepting. If you have been tolerating energy, remember how I said in the very beginning of this video, there's this really interesting focus on Mercury and Virgo energies. Why? Because it's the, 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 the smaller details in our lives that are showing us this is what I need to pay attention to pay attention to there are parts of your experience i just realized my microphone is backwards um there are parts of your experiences that you can change that you can adjust that you can make better um and then there's some things that it's important for you to just pro take the time to process it to digest it and then pass it on because it's going to need to be released it's going to be need to, it's going to eventually be expelled from your life it usually is those smaller things that can create major um, dynamic changes and shifts within your relationship, within your life, within your career. If this has to do with uh, work and career, this would look like um, being more organized so that you can be better prepared and have more structure in your day-to-day um, your day-to-day -day activities and responsibilities when it comes to work. If this has to do with friendships, it could highlight and um, draw your attention to reciprocity, overgiving, or how you may feel used and abused, or that um, there's a disconnect, especially when it comes to communication and being understood and seen for your intention and for your value. When it comes to relationships, this could vary, like intimate relationships. It's the small things that um, we can find ourselves nitpicking on, focusing on, we can find ourselves feeling like a relationship feels like more work, that it's doing more, it's not really contributing to us and our growth right now, so you need to kind of separate and disconnect. It's always gonna be the smaller things that all of a sudden you start realizing, wow, I was tolerating this this whole time, and it's a small thing that broke the camel's back or this tiny detail that I no longer can go along with. I can no longer co-sign and for my own well-being, for my own health, for my own peace of mind, I'm going to need to separate myself. The sun, con uh, sun Uranus conjunction is going to bring the most clarity when it comes to that detail that is, it, it's going to cost you more. This is like hiring, if you're a business owner, this is like hiring, you know, staff that they're supposed to make your life easier, but training them or tolerating them and their work and having to follow behind them even though they're there to hire, even though they're hired to help you, it's almost as if they're costing you through time, through money, through resources, and it's better for you to process that, to understand that, and then choose to at some point disconnect. Now, even though this transit is direct on Monday, we are going to be feeling this the entirety of this week. You don't need to force these types of energies. I promise you they will make themselves known if this is a transit that's showing up in your life. For some of you guys, it'll be really interesting because it's hyper-focusing on finances and resources, things that um, you may need to cut out. And if you don't, it will long-term effect it'll have a it could potentially have a long a, a negative long long-term effect this is not necessarily need to be um negative it could be positive it can can bring in really wild wonderful opportunities and conversations connections things that fall into your lap things that cross your path that you're just like wow couldn't couldn't didn't see that coming especially again with mercury we're paying attention to Mercury. When Mercury moves into Taurus, we're gonna. That's gonna be on Wednesday. Our our focus even more so with security and stability and business and branding, and even luxury quality of life is gonna be cranked up even more, like 10, 10 more degrees. And that heat is gonna be wonderful for your pockets, for your business, for your branding, for your finances, for money, for quality of life. That is going to be a major focus for a lot of us here. There's going to be some areas of our lives that we're going to need to cut the fat back on, you know, just kind of trim the fat and make sure that we're not uh, being wasteful, that we're not wasting our resources, especially with Uranus being so unpredictable, the highs, the lows, the ups and the downs. But for the most part, most people are going to fare really well and be very excited about these opportunities. 
Um, I do want to tell you that I get this really strong sense of empowerment this week. I don't, I didn't see that originally when I pulled the chart, but I'm seeing and sensing and feeling it now. I don't know why that is, but I just wanted to say that for many of you guys, um, for many of you guys, this is going to be a huge, a, a week that creates a lot of blessings, even if it has to come from a place of disconnecting from things, separating from things that you're like, wow, I thought this was going to be here for the long haul. Again, Taurus loves long-term contractual agreements. It loves predictability. It doesn't like change and it's going, it's having to face a lot of change um, because of Uranus and definitely we're going to feel the ice of this, the iciness with the sun and Uranus conjoined together. The sun is fire and Uranus is ice. The two of them coming together creates an explosive effect and we can't forget either that Later on, well, far into the weekend on Saturday, the sun is transiting, meaning it's moving through the sign of Taurus. It's going to be directly conjunct Jupiter, the planet of um, philosophy and wisdom, like higher wisdom, but also expansion and growth and abundance. Um, with, when those two energies come together, this is going to activate. Now, again, this is going to be on Saturday. This is going to help activate ideas big picture plans funding for for projects just a lot a lot of opportunities and resources for making a lot of money a lot of money and if you're doing this well if you're setting intention this money this security this abundance will last you for has a very strong potential to last you for the rest of your life this is i i think i mentioned this last week for people who are involved in real estate um you know, or major investments that sell like hard and fast very quickly, those types of investments can almost cover you for half of your life. It's if you if you do it really, if you do it smart, if you do it smartly. For those of you guys that are working on promotions, for those of you that are working on um, your, with business, like um, merging with other business owners, entrepreneurs, this is a wonderful time to explore. Definitely take serious to make time and space. I know sometimes life gets really busy, but this is a wonderful time to explore opportunities that other people that you link up with, that you collab with, to take them seriously, to ask them questions, to sit down and have those meetings. Don't put it off this week because these opportunities, they come in fast, they go really fast. You don't want to you know skip those skip those opportunities now granted you don't want to rush anything either we don't we don't want to forget that saturn is transiting through pisces this is giving us extra time to pay attention to our intuition our vibes and doing like a little gut check you don't necessarily need to rush saturn is not a planet that likes to rush it specifically is teaching us to take our intuition and our vibes and our vibes more seriously not just in business not just in in work and our money but also in our relationships when it comes to boundaries you have to understand that your gut your intuition can sense a lot of things you have instincts natural instincts that will tell you when something is off trust when the vibe is off instead of spending extra time and work and effort trying to dig in dig in and to cover uncover the truth of things trust that if the energy is off that that's all you need to know to kind of break free from and especially this week to break free from connection situations that no longer serve you there is, I, I do want to tell you that um, Mercury and Chiron in the very beginning of the week are still transiting through Aries like a broken record. I've been talking about this. The North Node is transiting through Aries as well. There is so much energy in the collective consciousness where we are hyper focusing on ourselves, on what is for our own highest and greatest good. Now that can be really tough if you are someone that normally thinks of others before you think of yourselves. However, people who are narcissistic or they think about themselves, they are excelling in this energy, but those relationships are, they're going to be finding that those relationships are fractured or any type of connection where someone is always being exalted and putting first in their needs and are, and their, and what is going on in their life is always considered first before everyone else. They're going to find that people that would normally booster them up and put them on a pedestal are going to be splitting away and separating because they can no longer tolerate they don't have the energy they don't have the time the time or the attention span to give to those people in the way that they once thought that they deserved or that they were expected there's a lot of balancing like karmic balancing of um, energies in the cosmos these days it's going to be difficult for those of you guys that were like benefiting from it or from the people that were in your life benefit benefiting from you always thinking about them 
um, always putting their needs first, but it's necessary. There, it's a huge uh, karmic uh, balancing out, you know, especially of people who are underserved, underserved, underseen, undergiven. They are finding their voices. Um, not only are we seeing this in their intimate lives with friendships and connections, but we're also seeing this in regards to major issues of humanity and how we as a whole, how we come in together to protect people who are, vic are genuine victims and trapped in a lot of ways. And what can we do as a, as a society? We can no longer turn our heads. That was, that was maybe appropriate 20, 30 years from now. It is no longer appropriate. We have to look out for each other. Same thing with our planet, but that's a whole nother conversation. Not political. It's just the truth of what's going on in the astrology charts, okay? So let's go on, go ahead and move forward with the remainder of the week. On Wednesday, again, Mercury, the planet of communication, is now at the start of this week. It's in the sign of Aries. This is Aries. And you're going to find him traipsing through Taurus shortly after. Again, this is going to be on Wednesday. This is going to, again, like I said, it's going to hyper-focus our attention, our energy, our minds, and we need to feel, we need to have a practical approach on um, things that make us feel secure and stable. A lot of times this tr translates into our, our money, our business, our work, our spending, but it's also the practical approach to our life, our, the routines that it is that we have in our lives that make us feel good. I think sometimes as spiritual beings, we get so caught in doing like heavy work, especially when it comes to healing. This is a wonderful opportunity for those um, who are in need of rest or respite to begin to focus on pleasure, slowing down, um, being more deliberate, taking some extra time for yourself. It's very sensual, a very sensual, lovely uh, transit. Our minds tend to tend to gravitate towards uh, things that feel comforting. I do want to tell you um, that the energy is going to start cranking up a little stronger towards the end of the week. That is a whole nother conversation. I think we're ready to talk about it now, actually. Um, I want to say that Wednesday, th I, Wednesday, Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday are a little bit more self-care-ish vibes or self-care and prep and prep especially when it comes to having conversations, especially you initiating conversations that may be difficult, but are needed for your sense of self, for your independence, for your freedom, and for very necessary changes that have been delayed and need to happen now or begin to start being initiated, right? So everyone, this is gonna be different, but Try to keep your mind, your energy open to this. It, there's going to be a tendency to kind of want to force and pull and extract the truth from someone to try to force something into being. You may also find mentally there may be like obsessive thoughts or things that you can't like you're ruminating on. You may have a little spike in anxiety. But it's coming from a place of I need to do this for, I need to do, like I need to do, I need to understand, I need to, I don't say make something happen, but bring this into awareness, bring this to life or extract this truth, right? Why? Because Mercury, again, is going to be entering to the sign of Taurus, stubborn as hell, deliberate, intentional, and will not back down and will not give up squaring with pluto in the sign of aquarius pluto now retrograde has been retrograde pluto rules death destruction and rebirth and regeneration it also rules power control manipulation and getting to the root the meat of things in the sign of aquarius it, this is truth telling to to infinity and beyond when mercury squares off with pluto this is a, a time where people cannot accept surface superficial answers to, to things, to questions that are have that impact their life. It is that serious. It, it is that serious. These these are the parts too where some sometimes people have like antiquated ways of thinking or moving, or they try to stay in a position of power or try to maintain their Oh my God, that bird is singing so loud and so beautiful. 
they try to maintain a sense of like their ego or their identity or how they how they perceive themselves or how they want the world to perceive them but in that they're holding back important truths and if they say too much they, they could be confronted with the feelings of shame or guilt or having to be held accountable for some really serious, I don't say accusations, but for, for some really serious, um, for some really serious things that really can influence and impact a person's well-being, their life and how they feel about themselves or how they feel about a situation. When Mercury squares off with Pluto, these type of like omitting the truth or you know, hoping that you never have to account for this or have this conversation, you can't skim by that anymore. I don't know if this is you trying to extract the truth or extract um, a conversation or an answer out of someone or someone's trying to do this to you. This would be really, really interesting to see. For those of you guys that are in therapy and healing or if you need to have a healing conversation, a truth-telling conversation, with someone for your for your psyche, for your psychology, for your well-being, for the the health of the relationship, this is again one of those energies where it's it's unavoidable. It it's going to come up. It's going to come out. Interestingly enough, it could come in through small things that we say or small details can make a whole situation unravel and you can see the kind of truth. Thank God for Pluto retrograde. Even though it's more stubborn energy that you're facing, it does have a tendency to like, there's a thread there that you can pull. When you pull it, the thing, the whole situation tends to unravel similar to a mummy that's been laying dormant, 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 and has all these stories, all this history behind it. And all we have sometimes are, are assumptions of what things mean and why things are the way that they are, but we need... The mummy itself, it's pulling that string and pulling that thread will reveal a whole truth, will reveal a whole script, a whole narrative of history that if we weren't, if we didn't have transits like this, it would have laid, it would have laid dormant for too long. So my concern with these types of transits is that if someone doesn't want to, again, give up their power or share a little bit more of the info, share more of this information that this their energy is very stubborn but anything no matter it doesn't matter how stubborn this energy is with even a little softness a little co coaxing and persistence it will unravel over time even the most stubborn energies will eventually unravel so keep that in mind and remember your power and don't try to force don't be don't be forceful try to be straightforward stay grounded and be consistent and you'll get what you need especially when it comes to answers rec recognition powerful shifts and changes especially when it comes to documents signing documents signing contracts especially that those things that free you from things that were limiting you in the past they can no longer hold you back any further and this is the week that you're going to feel a lot of freedom so keep your eyes pinned on that i feel like um a lot of my audience is 20 and up which i love like 21 and up or older adults and for that reason I kind of want to put a blanket over my younger adults especially um, I've been thinking a lot about my baby cousin who is not a baby anymore he is a grown-ass man he's graduating we're celebrating him and I just think about like the choices and the decisions that he is in his life is being called to make as every every young adult is being called to make as they're facing graduation and how these energies show up. First of all, I want to say I'm proud of you for maneuvering through the type of energies that are here today. These, these, the, the vibe lately is so different than my generation, the generations before. And um, I just want to tell you guys to be that it's not as easy. Like, I want to give you guys a lot of credit um, for building your future in a world that is changing so rapidly around you. I also want to tell you guys to prioritize, um, if you can, like doing things for you, like hyper-focusing your business, your brand, your future around you, especially when it comes to entrepreneurship, any, any type of education, whether it be going to school, going to the library, finding mentorships that you can do is going to be so beneficial for you. That's something also no one can take away from you. 
um, and also profiting, modernizing off of your gifts, your talents, whatever those things are, whether it be consult consultation, whether it be attention to detail, whether it be meticulous cleaning abilities, whether it be you're physically active and you love being outside. There's so many things that is that you can do to build a brand of business for yourself. And I want to tell you guys that um, it can be very tense. It can be really straining. But this is a week two for you to find a little bit more answers and to speak up for yourself and to gain clarity for yourself and for the future. And I really believe in the, in the generation to follow. And it's not easy. It's not easy. I was just saying to my cousin that things were... I, f I feel like my generation, we had a tried true path that I didn't even follow. <laughs> we had a tried true path that it's like, oh, you go to college, you do this, you do this, and then you're going to be set for life. And that was the last generation I feel that had that set path. Um, for you guys, you are definitely going to be paving your own way and hyper focus on like emphasis on your own freedom. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue on with the rest of the the week ahead highlighting on the weekend right now now remember i said <laughs> remember i said just we want to keep our eyes on uranus and taurus energy venus is going to be directly conjunct uranus in the sign of taurus this can create um spontaneity when it comes to your connections when it comes to also not only intimate relationships and love because that's what venus rules is um love and you know romantic romantic connections including uh neptune here but your money your resources and tangible things so you may find yourself uh being tempted to indulge in spontaneous spontaneous purchases i don't want to tell you what to do here i think that sometimes spontaneous purchases or investments especially this week they can be either really good or really bad and i know that that's like well duh jess but sometimes oftentimes the way that the transits are showing up, we can say, you know, do more research, take your time with this. These transits, the way that they are today, are so fast, so out of the blue, shooting up real fast, and then major losses. So I can imagine someone being called to, they feeling very intuitively called to buy something like it could be cosmetic it could be clothes it could be beauty like beauty or um what else what i see here like uh, even like luxury you know like luxury cars luxury goods i could see that um but i can also see major purchases that are like aesthetic like for for example i, I don't know why this is coming through but like a vacation home something that is in a tropical environment or somewhere very beautiful visually stunning and your in, your intention is to then remodel it because the location 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 is phenomenal that is something that it just is quick 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 you put the money down it could be a risk but it can create a lot of opportunity a lot of abundance especially because the same day saturday 18th sun is going to be conjunct jupiter so for those of you guys, I, I do have a lot of people who are in, interested in real estate and also stocks, real estate, look at the real estate market and watch what comes on the market, especially when it comes to places of high value at low prices. I don't know if this is a foreclosure or what. It's a huge token of wealth that's sitting here. It may need a little revampation with um, aesthetic, but it's gonna set you up for prime time. It will be, it will feel like it's too good to be true because why? The sun transiting through Taurus is gonna be in this really adorable sextile with Neptune transiting through Pisces. For a lot of you guys, it may be on the water or near the water, whether that water be a lake, an ocean, a river, it's or even like a houseboat like something just so stunning that you don't want to miss out this opportunity okay for everyone else this could be you using the time to be on the water to um throw a party to vibe to treat yourself to something nice it's a massage self-care whatever the situation is um everyone will be different but that is what i can see so with this you guys i do want to tell you there's this hyper focus on security attention to detail taking your time asking your intuition trusting your judgment what is up you know what is up what do i need to hear asking for discernment and when something comes up 
you got to strike when, when the, while the iron is hot. Trust yourself. Trust trust that the universe does provide. Don't think that some things are too good be, to be true, especially when we get closer to the end of the weekend. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, emphasis on Sunday and walking into the week ahead. We also make sure that you are subscribed to this YouTube channel. We're going to be talking about the, uh, what is it? The full moon that will be happening, I believe, in the sign of Sagittarius, potentially. I'm looking at the chart right now. It's kind of hard because the sun is in the final degrees of Taurus. I'm, I'm going to say Sagittarius. All right, we got to talk about that. So make sure that you are subscribed um, to the YouTube channel. For this week's magic, I do have a new candle that I am working on. It's actually was all white at the top. It's blue on the bottom. So keep your eyes open for really deep healing. Sorry about that, fam. My camera over and cut out. I live in Florida. It gets so hot to the point where even just recording, sometimes it's too much on the hardware. But like I was saying, what I highly recommend for this week is candle magic oils and tensions around money, abundance, security, and good luck. Both of those candles or both, well, both of those energies will be available in my shop. I'm going to be opening up the apothecary to focus my attention on those energies so you can go ahead and reserve that candle so that you can burn it at your altar. The energies will be infused in the candle, the money and abundance fixed candle. That's I already had that one burning for a client and then the good luck oil which i have in small amounts i just happen to have it here now i'm gonna go ahead and head off thank you guys so much for hanging out with me if you want to continue on with more um more intimate collective readings i do offer bahati love notes which is a monthly subscription where i shuffle and pull for a small audience focusing on their energy and the things that is that they need to hear throughout the week throughout the month okay so i'll link that down below bahati love notes until then thank you guys so much for hanging out with me i will see you in the apothecary or during bahati love notes reading talk to you later bye